So England, Welford Road in two weeks' time for Ireland. This will be monumentally difficult. We saw the English there. They are awesome. Whatever way you want to fight, they can, uh, they can beat you at it. Up front, back play, they're awesome. Yeah, they're an absolute powerhouse and there's a reason why they're number one in the world. They've got threats all over the park. They're a really powerful side. They've got a mix of experience and youth. They play some exciting rugby and they're also really patient. Like they, they don't start off fancy, they build into it and then it kind of opens up from there. So this is going to be, England away is tough. It has always been tough, but this England side has like gone from step to step. And when you've got the likes of like players like you know, Mo Hunt and, and Scarrett sometimes sitting on the bench, that it is going to be yeah. difficult. Well, we should point out even for the viewers at home, uh, against uh, Wales, they made seven changes for that game. They are mixing and matching and building a squad. So, I mean, that wasn't even necessarily their very best team against Wales. Yeah, and you, you would have seen that, uh, you know, for that English side to not necessarily be, you know, the top, top team. While it was an excellent performance, um, the reality is, is that's how scary it is um, across the park. I thought their breakdown was excellent. Um, they were able to score some wonderful tries and you would have seen Alice Matthews in full flight there, uh, in and out and, and getting over the line. But all of those pieces of, uh, pieces of tries that weren't from the mall were from just pure, you know, quick ball and skill. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty dangerous and pretty tough side to stop if you mm. can't beat them up front and stop their momentum.